Brandon Davis contributed Jean Quibouye is among those returning to the backcourt for the CSU Monterey Bay men's basketball team. Within minutes after accepting the position in June, CSU Monterey Bay men's basketball coach Isaac Williams got on his phone and started making calls and sending texts to players he had never seen play other than on film. The uncertainty in taking the CSU Monterey Bay men's basketball job in the summer for Williams was he WASN t sure who, or if anyone was coming back. No one was on campus upon his arrival, recruiting is hard enough, Williams said. Starting in June ISNT ideal. We focused on kids we had a relationship with, or kids that came from programs we knew would fit in. We wanted to make sure we got kids that would fit into our culture. When Williams got a chance to actually sit down and have a conversation, those who were undecided about their futures at CSUMB had a change of heart. I sat down and talked with Coach Williams, sophomore guard Stevie Matthews said. I really liked the mindset and the goals he had for the team. I felt we can have success immediately, he WASNT alone. Eight players came back. Six more have come aboard as the Otters and Williams will make their debut Friday, competing in the CCAA GNAC Challenge in Portland, Oregon. The future is now, senior guard Jean Quibouye said. This is the time to change the direction of this program. Going forward, we have raised certain expectations. That was missing last year. What began as a season of anticipation last winter ended in one of the worst in school history. The Otters stumbled to a 422 record and lost their final 14 games. Injuries and departures depleted the program as CSUMB played a stretch of games during the year with just six players, ultimately forcing a coaching change. I'm bringing a different culture, what things will be accepted and will not, Williams said. How you treat your teammates, your body language. It's hard to teach. It takes time, a late start didnt help Williams, either. He WASNT hired until the school year had ended. The program went two months without a coach in place. When returning players left for the summer, they were in limbo with their futures. The Otters DIDNT have a chance to practice in the spring and NCAA Division II rules do not allow players to work out with the school during the summer, which set Williams back another three months. Advertisement when you're starting something up, it makes it tough, Williams said. I don't know what to expect at this time, because I've never been in this situation. Before taking the job, Williams had two stints as the head coach at Eastern Oregon, sandwiched in between a stop as the director of operations at Boise State. The Otters have had just one winning season in eight years. Last year at Eastern Oregon, Williams led them to a 26-win season and into the second round of the NAIA tournament. A lot of what we're doing is trying to get to know each other, Williams said. They're trying to figure out my expectations. I'm trying to make sure I get that across and get their trust. Trust doesn't seem to be an issue at this point. There's a sense of anticipation, even if it's the unknown, as those that have come back want to build a foundation for the future. I feel we can make some noise this year and make people see us as a contender, said Matthews, who is from Sacramento. We want to make an impact on this city in Division II basketball. Matthews, who missed part of his freshman season with injuries, was a factor on the court by averaging 8.5 points a game last year and shot 46% from beyond the three-point arc. The biggest difference this year is people are more open to learning, Matthews said. The players have bought into everything he has said so far. A lot of it is trusting his ways, that includes an offense that features more ball movement, unselfishness, versatility and the ability to play different areas on the floor. Williams looked for players with a high IQ, we need smart guys capable of making decisions on the fly, Williams said. What we have to get to first is being a team that doesn't beat themselves. Make the opponent beat you. Be disciplined. Make no mistake, Otter's practice sessions have had its ups and downs. In fact, Williams said he won't name a starting lineup until 6.40 p.m. on Friday, just before tip-off. I still don't know, Williams said. I'd like to be further along than we are, especially with the X's and O's. I will say it's a group of guys that really work hard. The return of sophomore Javon Johnson gives the Otters a little scoring punch, as the 6'3 guard averaged just under 10 points a game last winter in 23 starts. Joe Kovarubias is also back for his sophomore season as a sharp shooting guard. Greg Pulaski, who was one of few players to stay healthy last season, brings his 6'11 frame inside the paint for the Otters. The junior forward center averaged 7.5 points and 6.1 rebounds a game. I've never liked talking about individuals, Williams said. I just feel it sends the wrong message.
Individual numbers don't mean a lot if we're not performing as one. Bouye, who prepped at Seaside High, provided a spark last season after sliding into a starter's role because of all the injuries. He averaged 6.2 points in 18 starts. Coach has got us thinking as a team, Bouye said. I like the brand of ball we're going to play. It's more movement and rotation. We're starting to understand each other's tendencies and build that chemistry. Matthews has seen the program evolve to the point where he believes this team can be a factor this season. If you had seen us in August, you wouldn't recognize us today, Matthews said. Now we have a role, an understanding of what it takes to be successful. The system will take some time, Williams said. All of the parts aren't there yet. You really don't know what you have until you're thrown in the fire. John Devine can be reached at 8,317,264,337.